5 nanometer Apple A14 in the iPhone 12 5G will be the fastest and most frugal chipset. Now, you do recall, Will, that we were speaking recently about the potential shrinkage of the battery inside the next flagship iPhone. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's a few people who were upset about it. They said, what are we doing here? We just had a great ba battery. It was one of the best features. 11 Pro Max, specifically, we're crushing on the battery life. I'm never charging the thing, living my life. And you see the number go down. You say, oh, they're doing the same thing again. They're just going to try to make it as thin as possible, and uh, my battery life's going to suffer. Well, apparently... This new chip is capable of getting faster, Will, but also more efficient, which may help in the battery life department. The company TSMC, they make the Apple A-series chips as well as Qualcomm Snapdragon stuff. They had a big uh, a big call take place. They were talking about their potential for six continued success and profits and the stuff they're working on, and particularly this, uh, this upcoming Apple A-series chip. And they said this uh, 5 nanometer will already be contributing to its revenue in the fall. The bulk of these chips will go to Apple as the next A14 chipset. It will be the first with the 5 nanometer node. They are, of course, currently chasing what we just heard about from Snapdragon with the 865 Plus, which was the first mobile chip to go above 3 gigahertz. So they're going to they're gonna want to put up some numbers themselves. The claim here is that the 5 nanometer tech is 15% faster, but uses a full 30% lower power than the current stuff that is in the Snapdragon 865 or Apple A13. So, that's good news. More power, or more power, less power. Yes. More horsepower, less battery power. Mm -hmm. Who doesn't want that? Possibly faster charging? Well, you said it, I didn't. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll make that bet. I think it's supposed to be 20 watts, is, a, is the current rumor. But it's a smaller battery capacity. Right. Right? Yeah, so, we'll, we'll see. It's not going to be on... It's not going to be on that 125 watt level. No, no, no. The iPhone's still going to take some time to charge. Five minutes faster. But, uh, yeah, I mean, 20 watt is still uh, an improvement. Yeah. Especially compared to the older iPhones. We saw the initial improvement on the last generation, but it's not going to be a huge leap. Mm -hmm. It'll likely be in a 20 watt territory.